Hello everyone and welcome to the third of seven tutorial videos for the BIOS app. My name is Stu Spencer and I'm a senior researcher at FP Innovations. In this video series we are working through a mock-up scenario with the BIOS app, providing step-by-step -step direction to assist potential users. If you have not yet watched the first two videos in this series, I would highly recommend you go do that first. Today, we'll start where we left off in the second video, on the logging data entry page. On this page, we'll enter a skidding distance, choose a primary harvest date, and a primary harvest method. First, we'll enter the average skidding distance, which is the average distance the primary harvester needed to transport the logs to roadside. I'm going to enter 150 meters. We will also enter the date the primary harvest occurred. This date and the subsequent secondary harvest date, located on the next page, allow the program to calculate how much needles and leaf volume will potentially fall off the branches before the secondary harvest occurs. For the tutorial, I'm going to enter February 1st, 2021 as the primary harvest date. And finally, we'll choose the primary harvest method, which also plays a part in determining how much volume is available for the secondary harvest. Currently, there are seven methods available to choose from. Going from left to right, first we have full tree, which is the feller buncher, skidder, and stroker delimmer combination. Next, there's a harvester forwarder option. Third from the left is manual tree length, which is manual falling and bucking in the cut block, and then skidding to roadside. The fourth option is the at the stump processing, which is buncher felling, processing at the stump, and transport to roadside with a forwarder. The fifth choice is full tree with roadside processing. This is feller bunching, grapple skidding, and processing at roadside with a dangle head processor. The sixth option is full tree with roadside chipping. This is feller bunching, grapple skidding, and then chipping directly into a chip van. And lastly, full tree with loader forwarding. This is feller bunching, loader, loader forwarding, also known as hoe chucking in BC, and then a stroker delimmer for processing. For this tutorial, we are going to choose full tree with roadside processing option. After that, I'm going to hit the next button in the bottom right corner of the screen and the app will take us to the biomass recovery page. Alright, that completes the third video on logging page data entry. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we will populate the biomass recovery page.